Students, we are given this question, a negative b is equal to 11 and root of a positive root of b is equal to 11. We are expected to find the value of a and the value of b. So I am going to be doing this question by a couple of methods. So let's get started. Now from 2, I can rewrite this as root of b is equal to 11 negative root of a. I'm just using this and pushing the root a to the other side. Now I'm going to be squaring both sides. So if I were to square both sides, I would get root of b raised to the power 2 is equal to 11 negative root of a raised to the power 2. Now this is going to give me b and this is going to give me, I'm using a negative b raised to the power 2 formula which is a squared negative 2 times a b positive b squared. So by this formula, this is going to be 11 squared negative 2 times 11 times root of a times positive root of a raised to the power 2. 11 squared is 121, 2 times 11 is 22 with the root a there so it's going to be negative 22 times root of a positive root of a raised to the power 2 would give me a i've got a b here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be substituting the value of b in one so substituting b in one we get so that would mean a negative in place of b I would be taking 121 negative 22 times root a positive a is equal to 11 so this can be rewritten as a negative 121 positive 22 times root of a negative a is equal to 11 positive a negative a gets cancelled I've got a 22 times root of a and equal to 11. I'm moving this to the other side so that will give me positive 121. Now 121 added up with 11 this would give me 2, 3 and 1. So I've got 22 times root of a is equal to 1, 3, 2 and that means root of a is equal to 1, 3, 2 divided by 22. Now 132 11 divides 132 one time. I have 11 there. Bring the 2 down and you got a 2 there and that's going to be 22. So 11 divides here 12 times and 11 divides here 2 times. So I've got a 12 and a 2. 2 divides here 6 times. So I've got square root of a is equal to 6 squaring both sides we get so what do we get we get root of a raised to the power 2 is equal to 6 squared this is going to give me a is equal to 36 now a is equal to 36 substitute this substituting in 1 so what happens when you substitute in 1? This is going to give me 36 negative b is equal to 11. I move 36 to the other end. I get negative b is equal to 11 negative 36. So you have a 36 and you take away from 36 11. So this is going to give me 5 and a 2. Of course there is a negative sign there. So you have to place the negative sign. So negative b is equal to negative 25. So this would mean the value of b is 25. So this is the result value of a and value of b so this is by one way i'm going to approach the same question in another manner students this is the second way you can solve this question now we have given that a negative b is equal to 11 and root of a positive root of b is equal to 11. now clearly what we can do is we can use the algebraic formula a squared negative b squared which is a negative b times a positive b so using this formula I'm going to rewrite 
root of a as in fact let me just show you this root of a negative root of b multiplied with root of a positive root of b this is going to be equal to a negative b because of the fact that if I were to take the square I would exactly arrive at a negative b but we know that a positive b is 11 so this is going to be 11 here 11 times root of a negative root of b but a negative b is also equal to 11 so from here clearly we can cancel the 11 out and that would mean root of a negative root of b is equal to 1 now if i were to take this as 1 2 and 3 i would now consider equation 2 and 3 and solve them so my 2 is root of a positive root of b is equal to 11 and my 3 is root of a negative root of b is equal to 1 now if i were to add them up root of a, a b with a negative sign gets cancelled so this is going to give me 2 times root of a is equal to 11 positive 1 that's going to be 12 now root of a is equal to 12 divided by 2 2 divides 12 6 times so therefore root of a is equal to 6 i square both the sides i get a is equal to 36 the same thing that we got here and upon substitution you would get b is equal to 25 so this is the second method now this this one is going to be method 3 now just consider this a negative b is equal to 11 and the root of a positive root of b is equal to 11 now what do you observe from equation 1 and equation 2 pause the video for a minute and state your comments in the comment section I hope you have got the answer now you can clearly see you got an a here and you got a b there now you got square root of a and you got square root of b now these two are added and it produces a complete number so the meaning is if you were to see equation one what they are doing is they are taking the difference between two squares and there is an algebraic law or a pattern which states that difference between successive squares of course they are considering integer quantities difference between successive squares follow a pattern So what is the pattern? Let me give you the pattern. The pattern starts with 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, etc. It goes on. So this is the pattern. So we are looking for this pattern. So what is it meaning? It means suppose I have quantities like 2 and 3. And if I were to take 3 squared negative 2 squared, that's going to be 9 negative 4, which is equal to 5. I get this. Now suppose instead of taking 2 and 3, I am taking 3 and 4. I get 4 squared negative 3 squared which is 16 here yeah, minus 9. So what do I get? I get 7. Okay, moving on. Let me let me just finish off with this. So if I were to take 5 and 4, 5 squared is 25, 4 squared is 16. So what do I get? I get 9. So the numbers should be 25 and 16 I get 9 so moving on let me just consider 6 and 5 so what do I get 36 negative 25 I get 11 so that is what we are looking for so 11 is the difference so for sure if I were to take the square of 36 and add it with square of 25 I would get 11 so 6 positive 5 and you can look for this pattern so for this you don't need any calculations you can directly absorb these two systems and then connect them to the pattern and produce the values as 36 and 25 so that is the solution